right, what time is it? 10, 17 a.m. Let's talk about what grinds my gears. Tiffany, you're always mad. Are you ever happy? Are any Is any of us ever happy? Like, I don't know. I think I probably would have been happy if God gave me the option, you know, if we want to live or not. Because if we got a preview of this bad boy, I probably would have been like, nah, I'm good. Just let me stay where I am, wherever that is, in the spirit realm. Just let me stay here. Like, But uh, what grinds my gears are people that would rather lose you like not have a relationship with you when i say relationship i mean like family i don't mean like dating because ill we've already been through that just read my statuses and y'all see how i feel about dating but i'm talking about if you love somebody because i really think people don't know what the definition of love is i'm thinking People need to reread that definition because people ain't getting it right. That's why I don't really like to use that word unless I truly care or love somebody because y'all got people out here thinking love is, you know, love is rude, love is unforgiving, love is conditional. Like, Here's what's really grinding my gears. Say, for instance, I'm just going to speak hypothetically, you know. Say, for instance, you had a mm, relative and that relative did you wrong, right? Say, for instance, that relative did you wrong or whatever the case may be, they said something to you that you didn't like, or it was rude, it was disrespectful, it was harmful, it was hurtful. Now, instead of that loved one coming back to you saying, you know what, that was wrong of me. I shouldn't have done that. They would rather be, what's the word I'm looking for? They would rather be stubborn and not say they're sorry. They would rather lose the relationship that they have with you because they're too stubborn to say I was wrong. That's the problem I'm having at this very moment because I'm like, okay, you know you wrong. God know you wrong. The spirits around us know you wrong. Uh, you can say yours, but then we'll turn around and claim they love you. That's the problem I'm having. And a lot of humans will do that. They're that they'll try to give you your roses when you can't smell them. Like they'll wait till you dead. I wish I had said something. Oh, I know I I know I why even have to go through that? Why even put yourself through that type of torture and pain when you can just that's why you know those sayings on the internet, they'll say stuff like they'll say stuff like They'll say stuff like, oh, I'm trying to think of a good one because I don't want to give y'all a bad one. They'll say stuff like, if you stop calling somebody or you stop texting first, watch how many people are no longer in your life. If you got to be the first one to hit that person up in order for y'all to speak, then that's not really a relationship that you should want. Period. Like, you shouldn't want that. And, and you know, I'm really, I don't have a problem cutting people off like a diabetic amputee. I really don't. And I don't, I, I really feel like that's not a bad thing because when a person shows me who they are, I believe them and I won't deal with them no more. But when it comes to family, you give chance after chance after chance after chance after chance. That's why family treats you the worst and run over you and do all types of stuff to you because we allow, because we feel like we can't cut family off or, you know how they say blood is thicker than water and all that other foolishness. Bump that BS. Bump that.
in 2020, since everything else jacked up in 2020, everything jacked up in 2020, everybody's plans have been halted in 2020. I'm just going to make 2020 the year of cutoffs, like KCAP. It's going to be the year of cutoffs because people really think I'm playing <laughs> in real life and on the internet. I'm not playing. If you are toxic, you got to go. You have got to go. And then I'm going to act like I never knew you and you never existed on the internet and in real life. Because people got the game twisted. Ain't no more nice Tiffany. No more nice Tiffany because nice people get ran over and they finish last. So, yeah. I just wanted to get it out. And then, it's another thing that'll bother me. People will tune in and listen and know you talking about them. Know you talking about them. Still won't reach out and say, you know, because I'm being nice. Because, you know, the internet is my diary. The internet is my journal. People will get mad. Why are you talking about that on the internet? I'm talking about family. Why are you talking about that on the internet? Well, why'd you do that? Why'd you do what you did to me? If you didn't do what you did to me, I wouldn't have nothing to speak about. People will get mad at your reaction to their bad behavior, but not change their behavior or get mad at the fact of what they did to you. The game is jacked up. That's why, like I said, when the coronavirus mess is over, I'm going to rent this private island. I'm not playing with y'all. I don't want to see nobody here from nobody. Fly my food in, just drop it. I don't even want to come in contact with a human. Don't even come off the plane and leave me my food. What's up, Tamika? Don't even do that. Just drop it. Drop that hole. Let it hit the water. And I'll go and get it. I'll go, I'll roll. I want to be like Castaway and Tom Hanks when this coronavirus is over. I don't want to see nobody. I don't want to be around nobody. Like, people want to, and then, Tamika, People be like this. Why you acting funny? Why you not talk? I don't like you at this very moment. And if you keep up your behavior, I'm not going to like you anymore, ever, again. People want to people wanna act like you wrong because you want to be by yourself because you don't want to deal with their foolishness. Because nine times out of ten, they're going to have an attitude for no reason. Or they going to blank. This, oh, uh, this is the biggest thing I hate. Say for instance, somebody do you wrong, right? They'll do you wrong. And then turn around, and when you try to call them out on that bull crap, they'll try to switch it around and try to make themselves be the victim. Humans are so great at everything else and, and deflecting and all of that stuff as opposed to just changing their bad behavior. Seriously. I don't like humans. I prefer animals. And I don't know, stop being nasty. And I don't know bestiality. But I mean, I prefer to surround myself with animals. Because animals seem to be a little bit more nicer than humans. Like, they can deal with each other. Like, even the, even the mother freaking kingdom or whatever they call it. They, they deal with each other better than humans. Seriously. Humans are just God's worst creation. Seriously. That's why he destroyed everybody in the flood. And he's going to destroy everybody in the fire. Because think about it. If it's not... I, I, somebody said it's between 7 billion plus people in the world, right? That's what they say. What is it? A hundred, only a hundred and... What is it? 70 some or 20 some or four, 144,000 people is going to make it into heaven. A hundred and forty four thousand people out of seven billion people that is so that tells you how horrible the human population is <laughs> like that's terrible and that's pathetic and that number that i got is supposedly from the bible so just letting y'all know i ain't just make that number up that's what the bible says so if that is the case, ask yourself why everybody else going to hell. Probably because they lie, they steal, they cheat, they kill, they manipulate, etc., 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 etc. 
and I'm over it. Like I was watching, I was bored last night. So I was watching, was it forensic files, right? You got people on here dying because they don't want to have sex with you. I'm looking at a little 20 minute documentary episode. This lady got this 24 year old lady got killed by her neighbor because he decided, hmm, I want to have sex with you. So let me peek out and peep and Tom you because her apartment was right in front of his. Let me watch you get dressed. Let me do all this. Then let me go into your house one night, and wait for you, stab you 102 times. Yeah. On top of that, his brother was already in jail for stabbing a girl 97 times. So I guess he felt like, I'm going to stab my victim more than yours. Right, Tamika? Oh, I'm watching another story. This dude was a uh, roommate to this girl, another college student. He kept trying to hit on her. She didn't want it. So he on, she on the phone one day with her homegirl saying, yeah, this dude's a weirdo. He overhears that he's a nurse, right? So he goes to work, gets some propofol, whatever that stuff is that killed Michael Jackson. He punched in his little nurse number, whatever, and it dispensed him some some propofol, whatever. And then he got a butterfly needle, yeah, because he a nurse, so he's smart. He didn't want to get a regular needle because he knew it was gonna leave a bigger puncture, you know, mark on her. So he gets a butterfly needle, goes to the house, and injects two vials, vials a propofol in this girl and she did because i don't want to have sex this is the type of world we live in because i don't want to have sex with you you trying to off me i mean i told y'all my status yesterday you got a dude texting me money pictures what is that supposed to do so i'm supposed to oh yeah uh let me get this money let me hit Dudes, hit me up. I want it's eleven one two o'clock in the morning. I want you to uh, I want to come pick you up for what? The world already closed, so you know ain't nothing open at one or two o'clock in the morning. What are you trying to pick me up for? I am a lady, so you're giving me signs that you either have a wife or something, or you're trying to. Say, you're not gonna see me. I told you, you can pick me up in the daytime, in the daytime, as in when the sun is shining. I'm not no one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight o'clock in the morning hoe. I'm not a hoe at all, as a matter of fact. So don't send me pictures of money. You have to teach people how to treat you. You have to teach people how to treat you. I'm telling you. Especially these men, ladies. You got to teach them. Because they already know. But they just trying to see how far they can go. They already know. They just trying to see how far they can go. Let me stop with my Umar Johnson where he repeat everything he say like we too stupid to retain it. Umar Johnson, the prince of Pan-Africanism. But let me spend all your donation money on a whore that's not black. <laughs> people are hypocrites. That's why I don't like humans. You got people online mad because us YouTubers post our cash app we post whatever links that we have for people to donate, right? But then they'll turn around. I'm sitting up here watching the video this morning. This YouTuber that's calling out another YouTuber for getting donations turns around and says today, well, uh, I'm going to start charging y'all to go live. Wait a minute. Wasn't your whole thing that you didn't like us YouTubers collecting money from people that like us? But now you're sure. That's why I'm the realest. I'll tell y'all in a minute. I like money. I want money. Donate. Or I'll get out there and I work for my own money. Or I'll create apps like I do. And all the other stuff to make money. These other ones want to lie. It ain't about the money. I don't like money. Shut the f- I just hate fake people, y'all. I definitely hate fake people. But right now, I really want a relative cleanse. And I want to just people bugging me cleans. I just don't want to be bothered with nobody. And it's okay. I'm going to stop explaining myself to people who want to ask me why you ain't reply. And all that other stuff. I just don't want to be bothered with people. People people are literally the reason why this world is going down the toilet. They mess with the atmosphere. They freaking 
ruin everything with greed. They freaking kill each other. All this other foolishness. Humans are horrible. I don't like humans. I don't like people. <laughs> What's so cool? I don't like people no more. Seriously. I'm done with people. People, people, people. I don't see how God do it. I don't see how he do it. I be striking people down left and right. Zap. 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 These people disrespectful. I see people on here cussing out God, saying they don't believe in God, and doing all this other foolishness. Zap. Now, go to hell. It's going to be a little hot. Where you going? But people don't fear God. And that's a problem for me. That is a huge problem for me. I couldn't be God. I couldn't be God. I'd be killing people all day. Seriously, cursing people, playing with folk. Say, I don't have it in me. I wouldn't have died for you niggas either. Wouldn't have died for you niggas either. Carry your cross, please. Not this one. I'm serious. Not this one. Playing games with me. Sit up here in Judas. And then you you want to make me be all knowing too? I wouldn't be kicking it with Judas. And I'm knowing you finna betray me for 30 pieces of silver. You couldn't even get gold, homie. You couldn't even get a big Frank, homie. You are denied. They ain't even had nothing worth buying back then. <laughs> wasn't no cable. Wasn't no Wi-Fi. Wasn't no electronics. Wasn't no nice looking house. They probably didn't have central. No, they didn't have central air. They didn't have electricity. What was you betraying God for to buy some dirt? Bruh. The audacity. I sit up here and let you kick it with me. You see me doing miracles and everything. Shoot. Coolie, let me like it. Let me heart your comment. And you know this. And you know this. You sit up in here watching me do miracles. Sit up in here raising people for the dead. Lazarus, punk A. I didn't raise him from the dead. I didn't did all this other stuff. And then you sit up in here denying me and, and, and acting funny. And then go try to kiss me to let the folk know who I was. First of all, pause. Why you kissing me, Judas? You got a little sugar in your tank. Switching in the kitchen or something up in here, tutti frutti. It, it, it's another. It, it's probably another way that you could alert the folk to know, to know that I was the one that to come pick me up or something. That's gay, but whatever. That's a whole different other story. Thirty pieces of silver. I'm literally. My fact. Where my other phone? I'm finna Google thirty pieces of silver. I'm not even finna play with y'all. We're gonna learn today. Shout out to everybody that's on here early with me, me and also shout out to Cool the Kid. Like I said, we already know this one savior and it couldn't have been me. Couldn't have been me. All y'all be dead. <laughs> you heard me? All y'all be dead. 30 effing with me. And then I would have went back up into heaven and I would have been like, look here, I couldn't do it. I had a panic attack. I backed out. So everybody gonna die. Everybody gonna die. I'm just letting you know. Mass graves. All right, 30 pieces of silver was the price for which Judas betrayed Jesus, according to an account of the gospel of Matthew 26, verses 15. And this looked like ain't nothing but some quarters. Ain't nothing but some quarters. He betrayed Jesus for some quarters. He betrayed Jesus for the amount that it cost to buy three packs of Kool-Aid today. Mm, mm, mm. No, I ain't even click on the Church of the Latter Day Saints. That's gonna piss me off too, cause they run around here saying if you not a uh, what is it, a Jehovah's Witness, you going to hell. Humans annoy me, like I said, because your way ain't the only way when it comes to Christianity. You got Church of God in Christ. We got the Baptist folk. We got all these other denominations. Chill. As long as we serve in Jesus, that's all that should matter. I really wish y'all could see what 30 pieces of silver look like. This is petty. This is petty. You can fit 30 pieces of silver in a motherfucking Ziploc bag and you would still have half the... <laughs> this nigga was petty, bro. He took a 360 deal when it came to Jesus. I'm not even playing with y'all. He didn't even hold out to sign with a major record label. This nigga took the equivalent of a sound cloud motherfucking deal this is this is pissing me off 
This is what people do to you. This is what your friends and family will do to you, y'all. They will sell you out for a stimulus check. I bet you it's a bunch of humans out here tricking. Well, no, because I guess the strip clubs are closed. But they are saving a stimulus check to go trick off on some hole at in a month freaking strip club. As I wrap this up, I just want to say this. You know, I, I, I was going to try to change who I was to appease certain family members who didn't like it. But guess what? I don't care. I'm me. I'm not going to listen to nobody who can't change their own bad behavior. Don't go and come over here and try to tell me what I need to be doing and saying on my social media. I didn't get this far on YouTube listening to everybody else and how they want me to be. I'm going to continue to be me because this is who God made me to be. And until I see your behavior change, I ain't doing nothing for mine. So if you don't like it, delete me.